All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Get my headphones on here. Good evening. Welcome. Happy Sunday to you and yours. I am Grizzly, and this is uh, another installment of A Year of Gaming, where I casually play through as many games as I can in the year of 2021. And today, uh, I should say tonight, because it's about quarter to nine central standard time, uh, where I'm at, uh, I'm going to be playing Bl uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, uh, which uh, is going to be game number 29. So uh, this game in particular is, uh, I have the uh, physical version of it for the Switch. This is a game that was a pre was a pre-order bonus that was a result of being a Kickstarter goal for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which is a uh, which is an homage to uh, like a spiritual successor to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and so the creator of still no uh, I mean good evening one of uh, so the re so I answered that in my Discord uh, no Emmy yet that's gonna happen tomorrow night um, I'm just sticking to the default schedule for doing that tomorrow night and come hell or high water whether i find a physical copy or not i will have the game and start playing it and that's just going to be that um i hear there's already a day one a day one patch so i'm hoping i can get a hold of a physical copy of the game uh during the middle of the work day like go on my break uh, go pick it up install it get the patches going while i'm working for the day and then of course you know when it's time to start I'll probably, um, uh, and then just, you know, go from there. So, um, so this Bloodstained Curse of the Moon game is a prequel to Ritual of the Night. And it was a pre-order goal for, uh, like I said, for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And people liked it so much that they actually made a sequel. And this physical edition I have here is from Limited Run Games. Uh, I have quite a few uh, physical editions of games from Limited Run. I think they do a pretty good job. And uh, I did order Curse of the Moon 2 from them, and that is, I'm currently waiting for the, uh, for the cart to finish being produced so that they mail it to me. So, 11 gigabytes for physical editions. Okay. I know my Steam install is 93. That's, you know, for three games, that's not terrible. I mean, that's, you know, about 30, 31 gigs per game. As opposed to Call of Duty, which has like 160 gigs for one game. Which is utterly asinine. So, so all right, this is gonna be a. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. It's pretty, uh, pretty chill, casual. Let me get my game audio up. It sounds unusually quiet. That is very quiet. Audio is down. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Um, oh, let's go to uh, let's go back to the title screen. Uh, oh, those are very simple options. Start a new file down here. Uh, we're gonna do normal mode and casual. So I don't know if you read the tag. But this is a casual playthrough. There was once a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. That man was Zangets. Was apparently having puberty issues and cracking his uh, voice. 
Uh, that man was Zangetsu. Uh, wrapped in crimson garb with eyes like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. One night, he sensed the looming presence of a great demon. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. Maybe be very careful. It's very easy to go into, like, William Shatner mode. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. Which is almost like kind of like William Shatner, and I'm, I'm kind of getting a little into Keanu Reeves on that one. So. Hey, uh, it's been like a long time since I had tried to imitate Shatner. In any case, um, I just got back from an excellent weekend with some friends down in the Chicago area. So, um, I figured ahead of uh, Mass Effect tomorrow, uh, we'll get one more game done. So Mass Effect is game number 30. As you can tell, this is very much an homage to uh, Castlevania for the NES, as I mentioned in Discord and Facebook. I can't regress that way, so... No wall chicken? No wall chicken. Always check for wall chicken. There we go. X is that, uh... is throwing a scroll. Just like Castlevania, you get hearts uh, to use for your uh, special attack. I can't go that way. Oh well. Oh, now I got the whip again. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know, I'm, what really makes me happy about playing this game, and that the fact that this game exists, is that it proves you can have any aesthetic you want, any design choice you want. This is NES graphics, NES mechanics and gameplay for a Switch title. And, you know, it, of course it's available for other platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, but we've reached the point where it's no longer a requirement for a game to have any sort of art limitations based on hardware. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, that jerk dog. Oh well. Maybe I'll find a wall chicken. avoid getting hit, but I guess not. Oh well, what are you gonna do? 
too, right? So yeah, I hope you all have had a pretty good weekend. Um, I got to visit some. I got to visit some friends that I haven't seen since uh, quarantine started. So, you know, we spent a lot of time catching up uh, with each other, and uh, and they're just bullshitting without needing to face giant rock monsters. A lot of incredibly good food eaten. I brought venison snack sticks and venison uh, jerky. I also brought triple cream butter case cheese, cherry butter, uh, and crackers. Not like regular saltine crackers, I'm talking like, like fancier crackers. And you can make little miniature cherry cheesecakes. And I also brought a bottle of bamboo rum. And, uh, we had a big family gathering uh, with, uh, with the folks uh, I was visiting, and He's down. And for avoiding that final hit, I think I get a, a, some energy or something? Yes! Yeah, full energy. So, uh, so yeah, we played... I mean, we, we I, I caught up with a whole, just a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch of people yesterday. And then also, uh, played the board game Bang. Also played some catchphrase. Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? You, you're a shard binder. That power can summon forth demons at will. I, I cannot allow that. Wait, it, it is true that I am a shard binder. However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in, my, in command of this power. I refuse to be used for evil. Then show me the proof of that determination in battle. Miriam has become an ally. I think you have a choice of like recruiting the allies or killing them. But I always choose to recruit. Well, as it appears, I can use the LR buttons to switch places with them. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is all unimportant. But now I have access to the whip smash, and the high jump, and the slide. Uh, what was that other one she had? Yeah, the high jump. Okay. The whip and the high jump. Let's go. Alright, stage two, Frigid Hell. Jugs are the weapon refiller, and then the hearts are just actual health. Wall chicken? No, wall chicken. I have been denied wall chicken on this Sunday. But they know you serve roasted chicken on Sundays, so where's my roasted wall chicken? Tank that hit, I guess. Yeah, she throws daggers. Ah, eh, fine. Whatever. Okay, I think that was a wall chicken. 
Wall roasted chicken from Chat and Animals. Okay, we're gonna go this way because we can. So yeah, there's uh there's different paths you can take in this game. Hey Trinette, you mentioned one type the other night, but are there certain genres of games you don't ever play a type you don't like? It would probably be sports, like football, baseball, basketball. Uh, probably those, like the Madden games or the 2K games. Um, they just don't interest me. Like, I'm a really huge fan of uh, of the Milwaukee Brewers. I love baseball itself, but... And I'm a fan of the Packers. You know, I enjoy football, but... I don't enjoy playing those games. I don't... You know, I've watched uh, other people play them over the years, and they just don't... They don't do it for me. Another genre that I have like difficulty with would be uh, real-time strategy, like StarCraft, Command and Conquer, uh, those kind of games, because it's kind of like chess, right? Like you're making a lot of, uh, you're thinking ahead several moves. And for whatever reason, my brain isn't capable of handling that. Would you ever play XCOM? Uh, what is XCOM? Because uh, the answer is not no, but it's um, but it's not a yes at the moment because I'm not really sure what it is. I hear that name, and I have just the vaguest idea of what it means, which ain't much. So the blue, so the purple lanterns give you a new power up. Ooh, I do want the scroll. Cause then I can do this. Hmm. XCOM is a turn-based tactical strategy game. Okay, yeah, I think that was. Uh, so my answer would be, uh, if it's like. If it's like South Park, the fractured but whole, then it would have my interest. Uh, because that game was a... I think that was turn-based tactical strategy. But of course, with ridiculous South Park humor. But I really enjoyed the battle system of that game. But like, Final Fantasy Tactics... I've never played Fire Emblem, I've never played... I have Fire Emblem Three Houses for the Switch, but I've yet to play it. XCOM is way more in-depth than uh, South Park. Oh, good. Okay. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was a good hit. That was not a good hit. Switch over to Zangetsu. There we go. Nope, couldn't dodge that one. Also, stream lagging hard. Audio seems fine, but getting slideshow even after refresh. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, my friends. Lagging hard. Yeah, I see that. I had 7,000 dropped frames. What the hell's going on? Okay, uno momento, my friends. Let me figure out what's going on here. That's like a serious lag spike. Um, looks like everything's fine now. Uh, uh, Streamlabs has access to all of my uh, all of my bandwidth. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, talk to this feller. Yeah, it is better. Yeah, that I, I just noticed that. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, I think it was just a hiccup, just an internet hiccup. But I can always... Uh, if it becomes a problem, of course, then I'll just reset my modem. That I would be defeated by a demon. I have been thoroughly humiliated. I am Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist, use demons to fulfill your worldly desires. Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are not without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Uh, Alfred can cast some pretty wicked spells. XCOM, enemy unknown, enemy within is the 2012 game and a decent start. Two is more recent. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that recommendation. I will check that out. Uh, give it a look-see. Um, and if it passes, uh, I will add it to the rotation for what we're going to be doing. Alright, so Alfred... He can... He has this rod, and it's like the worst attack. But... Um, his alchemy is badass. So you can see he has the least health, but his uh, he makes up for it in strength uh, of his uh, of his magic. Pretty great. <clears throat> All right, the brilliant void. Let's go. I do not want that. I really like what I have already. I'm believing I'm just supposed to tank these hits. Oh, I do not want that. Okay, let's keep going.
so we go this way. But really? Yeah, jerk. Okay, I'm gonna go down. Oh my god, he just flat out owned me. Wow. Wow. Well, we'll see if I can do it without her. Holy crap. That guy had my number and then some. supposed to go down with Alfred, not him. some of the wall hearts. Mm -hmm. Keeping a close eye on that frame rate in case my game decides to change his mind. Or inside my stream, I mean. Links for XCOM and Discord, they're on sale on Humble. Okay, great, thank you. Much appreciated, Monev. I also uh, got a request from uh, my friends Marcus and Quinn uh, to take a look at Warzone as well. I'm gonna give that a shot too. Okay, I'm coming into this with a bad amount of money, bad amount of health. I do not have nearly enough life to deal with the boss for this one. I need some parts and I need them now. That helps. Is there a wall chicken? The equivalent of wall chicken? Roasted wall chicken? Anyone? Come on. Oh, I need that. And the person I need for that is dead. Oh, that sucks. Never mind! So 
suppose I could have given it to him. He really needs the help more than Zengetsu does. need that for this battle. Alright. Time to face uh, the haunted version of uh, Okada. The haunted robot version of uh, pro wrestler Okada. The Rainmaker. Do that again, you coward. That hurt way too much for it to be okay. There we go. Got him. It was Skulls All Along. Feels like some weird, like, YouTube clickbaity title. It was Skulls All Along? Bloodstained playthrough, not a prank. 2021, 4K, ASMR. <clears throat> Cursed Shard Binder. You carry the power of numerous demons. Very perceptive of you. I require the demon's power to achieve my revenge. At this moment, our objectives align. Cooperation would be fruitful for us both. So be it. I'll let you continue breathing for now. Uh, I've never figured out how to pronounce this. I go with Jabel. Jabel has become an ally. Because what's the alternative? Oh, that's our old friend Gebel. Uh, Gebel from Polonia. Over uh, a couple two tree blocks down the road there, hey. Good old Gebel. With his grub worms for ice fish in, you know. Just like, doesn't feel right. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Blasphemy unto heaven. Absolutely solid soundtrack. Ah, oh, like the Medusa heads from Castlevania 1. Oh, how I missed them. Who couldn't? Well, he's dead. A 
utterly unhelpful character. Game wants me to go that way, but I can't. No way to do it. I think I was supposed to do something totally different. I wasn't supposed to float. shooting an arc. How awful for you. Have a good night. Pumpkin time for you. Alright, well, enjoy, man. Have a good night. Hope you find a copy of Mass Effect and enjoy it. Thank you, sir. I will be uh, streaming that tomorrow, I one way or another. So, get some rest. Uh, take care of yourself, and as always, watch for deer. Back to start streaming on Wednesday. Hope to see you there. All right, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, your start time will be. I met probably uh, if it's Wednesday, it's gonna be. Uh, oh God. That was awful. Get out of there. After, uh, ops. Oh, oh, wait, unless we're not doing ops. Then that's different. I can't remember who we are. Oh, I can't do that. The guy I need for that is dead. Very dead. Very, very, very dead. Most dead. Keep moving, hope for the best. Those succubi were not fun. Then again, when are they? Okay. This 
way. Really hoping for the best on some health. Gonna ignore that. Okay, there we go. We got that. Can I jump up there? Alright, good. Everybody's at as full health as we can be. There we go, boss time. The Spring Break Dragon. So when he opens his mouth, he's gonna he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be excited because it's spring break. We're not done. Ship. What is 
pirate ship. Sunder the night. way to make you I'm gonna actually start this level over uh, thank you for the follow charming leaf much appreciated as I <laughs> cast all of my characters to death sentence them effectively so we'll restart this level with everybody in and of itself. The weird one. All right, let's uh, let's take uh, Jebel Hero for a ride. All right, face these uh, dudes with terrible stomach upset. Holy scroll. <clears throat> I assume that's what it is. <clears throat> Either way, it's uh, <clears throat> what I need. <clears throat> Either way, it's what I need. to kills you. Guess what? <laughs> We're not going with that. We'll go without Zang. Oh, right, we have to go this way. It's not an option. I had forgotten. Oh, 
Well, yeah, we're without the Zangetsu for this round. Which is not great. Could be better. Good evening, Zerg. Uh, it's going okay. I'm, I'm dying a lot. <laughs> but uh, this is a really fun, this is a really fun short game. I enjoy it all the same, so... The playthrough could be better. <laughs> I could be not dying. Well, that's okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, whatever. Tag team like Mega Man or something? Uh, I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Oh no. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm thinking tonight we'll just be bloodstained and we'll call it good. And then tomorrow can be game 30 with Mass Effect. Uh, I do have Mega Man games on my list, but... Uh, but it's like... But I'm not feeling those just yet. Not just yet. I think I'll be good with uh, with just doing. Get back here. With just doing this game tonight. And then uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna look for a physical copy of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and if I can't, then I will just buy it digitally and get it downloaded ahead of tomorrow on my screen. Sparky lady. The pirate captain, uh, Spark Peacock. Wow, really? That's some, that's, uh, that's, that, that's evil. That's some evil right there. That lightning spell is the, uh, only he could, only Alfred could use. This is, I am probably gonna die. That's, that's fine.
I need you to die, and I need you to die quickly. Oh my god. I actually got her. One life left. Good god. That was the most brutal stage yet. Yeah, that was close. I mean, a one health bar left for, for both characters. Tragedy of Slaughter. Okay. Hmm. Alright, get back here, you lion-faced coward. All that and he doesn't even stick around. Nerve of this guy. Two. Yeah. Alright, let's check for broasted and wall chicken. Just never know. I do not want that. Uh, I want that, though. I did say wall chicken. Um, and I did say broasted wall chicken. Broasted chicken on Sundays, that broasted chicken Sunday dinner. Yeah, if it's broasted, that's fine. That's right. That's right. You're getting it. You understand. Don't mess around when it comes to broasted chicken. I want them to have. Whew, that was close. My dad loves to cook, but he had a hankering for fried chicken from Walmart on Sundays. Must be a boomer thing. Um, my dad likes getting his fried chicken from Triggs. From the uh, Tula's Deli. He's a real big fan of that. So that yeah, I think it's I think it's a gener generational thing.
throwing axes at me. I mean, not ask me a question. Me personally, broasted chicken from Chen Namels in Burnham, Wisconsin. Choice. Choice stuff. Thanks for the money game. No roasted wall chicken. Oh, these ladies again. Great! I'm just gonna fly. I'm gonna rise above it. Look, I have earned this privilege. It's like Creed Breton says, I pay for this privilege. Is this game normally so hard or just an off night? This game is normally this hard. <laughs> and it can be worse. I'm playing on casual mode. Uh, veteran mode, when you take damage, you will get knocked back, like in traditional Castlevania. I have infinite lives, so if I lose all four characters, I can just start over. But on, uh, on veteran mode, I die. That's it. There's a place down in Lombard, Illinois, that had the best roasted chicken I've ever had. Hmm. I am interested. Tell me more. They had good sides, right? Roasted chicken is outstanding. But it also needs... all those hits. Well, whip it is. I'm trying to find it on Google Maps. Okay, all right. Yeah, this name, this, this game is difficult on its own. All right, uh, ah, yes, uh, the... I don't know who this is. Uh, alternate universe Lady Dimitrescu.
a lot of damage, but whatever. Getting the end was the important part. They do that final attack. It takes a lot of damage. I don't think it'll kill you, though. On veteran mode, I think it will. Like, you have to dodge it. Although with this, I'm not sure how. Oh, good. Up we go. Defiler of taboos. Stupid frog. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. But being able to, you know, fly to skip helps a lot. Yeah, I don't think I will reach that hard in time, so I'm gonna skip it. I think we gotta deal with another book asshole in this one. Uh... Oh, I lost the lightning! Damn it! I have no way of reaching that. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Just move on, I guess, right? through this. Uh, good evening, Cody. Any luck in the search for Mass Effect? Uh, no, but uh, I'll be trying again tomorrow. I'm gonna hit up GameStop. Oh my god. Frog, calm the hell down. Uh, I will, uh, I will look for it tomorrow. And if all else fails, I will just get a physical copy. I mean, if all else fails, I will get a digital copy and I will download it. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I meant. So. Oh, I am not going that way. I 
I have no choice. Stupid book enemy. God, they're the worst. So yeah, I'll try. Uh, I figure Best Buy or GameStop have to have it. Uh, I don't want to do this fight. gonna be gone by the time we get there. That was called Brewster's. It's a fire grilled chicken. Oh. Fire grilled chicken sounds phenomenal. just destroyed my ride to get up there. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Just go down. Uh, oh, I'm gonna head to bed, new job starting mod. Congrats, good job uh, getting the new job and good luck. Get some good rest and as always, watch for deer. Yep, you too. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Okay. Come on, give me something good. That is something good. Funny, I'm just completely ignoring these book puzzles, but I have always done that when playing this game. Well, now I can't. Actually, no, I can. Just watch me. Die and die and die and die. Because this game is that brutal. Those, they're like shortcuts or paths to upgrades. And I can't jump for shit. <laughs> All right, Zangets, let's see if we can get through this. Uh... Tank the hits. Hmm. Oh, that's 
how I do it. That's not how I do it! That is definitely not how I do it. Stupid fairies! There we go. Ah! Okay, thank God. Jar. Yeah, that's better. 60 out of 60. And as good a health as I can get. Alright, time to face a librarian? I don't remember. Yeah, this this guy. Sparky McDougal Flaps. attack, it's fine. Whatever. He exploded himself. Whatever, I don't care. I think we're approaching the end of the game here. Like I said, it's a short one. It's a good one, though. Oh, all right. Straight up mystery. Curse the moon. Sensing some frustration? Uh, I like this game, though. It doesn't frustrate me. Well. Oh, that frustrates me. I forgot about those things. Yeah, those things suck. Yeah. They take a lot of life from you. They are not kind. Like that. <laughs> oh, sons of bitches. Okay. It's just like justification for an auto scroller. It's like you must move now. This is not a suggestion. Small chicken. anime lion man over here. Okay. Uh... I 
can't even, like, get out of their way in time. They just go! They're so brutal. Perfect. The struggle continues. Yeah, all right. Now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you can only do two damage to me, Mr. Lion Man Riding a Griffin Man. Man! Alright. Holy crap, I should have died there. Roasted wall chicken. Hope for the best. That was not roasted wall chicken. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello again. Goodbye. Yeah, he was not pleased about me uh, completely skipping him. He's like, I'm your opponent, and I'm like, you're really not. it? This is the dude? Oh, hello. Oh, damn it.
There we go. Go ahead, do your anime move. Wait a minute. Not anime move? Not anime move? We're gonna keep fighting? Okay. Alright, yeah, this is the top. This is the final battle right here. Uh oh. I should be handling this. Yeah, that's, uh... That's a lot to deal with. Bonk. Just better off just starting over. Cause you start from that area. At least I think you do. Yes. Okay, got all the basic items, mm -hmm. but it's fine. Mm. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, 30's gonna have to do, isn't it? That's not a lot of weapons to work with. That's good. Now I have a fighting chance. Fantastic. I don't know what any of this means! I am just tanking the hits. It's 
not good. Of progress that time but i need i need all four of them though i can't do i can't do just uh the three of them i need all four i gotta redo the fight anyway okay so we'll start over Now I understand better what I'm supposed to be doing during that fight. I did not want that. Oh, no, I really don't want that. That'll have to do. Bugman again. There we go. If he can tank the hits, it's fine. Nobody else can. But what I don't have are things I can use to attack this character. strategy for this. <laughs> okay. No, no, I don't want the neck. I don't want the new game.
rely on the whip. Okay. Okay. Well, that's... I just made him utterly useless. That's a tank. That's a tank move right there. Now really, my strategy... I gotta get more magic. That's like my top priority right now. Okay, now I got a better handle on this. Got 
Got her. Him, her, I don't care. Whatever. Got you, you bastard. You're done, son. That was a hell of a battle. And Zangetsu takes... Zangetsu was astonished by his own actions. For what reason did he do this? He existed to slay demons and take revenge, but long-lost emotions have been rekindled. However, the time for that had passed. As his consciousness drowned, well... He takes on the power. And he takes over the castle. And so, in order to stop the new Dark Emperor, Zangetsu's allies plunged into battle again. They may have to end their ally's life, but can they still save his soul? be continued. So, all that is, is it opens up New Game Plus so that you go through the entire game again, but this time is just those three characters. Uh, and then you face uh, Zangetsu at the end. So, uh, I believe he's still the main bad guy for the main game uh, Ritual of the Night. So, yeah, this was game number 29, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. So, like I said, it was a, it was a shorty. A little, a, little, a little quickie, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that'll be that'll be good. So, uh, so we'll let these credits roll out, and it's already 10:29, and I can get ready for bed for tomorrow, and get to work and work on finding a copy of Mass Effect. And I, like I said, either way, we're starting that tomorrow. It's happening. So that was the original plan. We're gonna stick to that plan. That's the fallback. Just just download it, and that'll be it. So. Uh, I look forward to doing that again. I played through Mass Effect a little bit uh, last mm, September, I think, and then it set it a stop since the remastered version is coming out. So, so this game, let me give it a review. Uh, it's very short. It was designed in a very, it was de designed and developed in a very short amount of time uh, by the developer. Uh, it's short but sweet. The game mechanics are fantastic. The soundtrack is awesome. The difficulty is frustrating. <laughs> so, uh, so you definitely got my number there on that one, Atronet. So, uh, but the sprite art is uh, absolutely incredible. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this uh, a 7 uh, if it was longer. And I'm not talking doing just this main game over again with the three characters. I'm talking like, at, like much longer. Then it would absolutely be up there, uh, you know, like nine or ten out of ten. But um, for what it is, is a great proof of concept of an homage to Castlevania. Definitely does that. So, all right, folks, uh, I'm gonna head out for the evening. So, Atronet, Zergaholic, Cody B, and uh, Monev, thank you all for chatting with me tonight, and thank you all for watching. So, I will be back tomorrow at eight uh, at eight thirty uh, for Mass Effect Legendary Edition on the Xbox Series X. We're going to put that new console to real work. So, see how that turns out. So, all right. Uh, take care of yourselves. Get some rest. Watch for deer. And I'll see you tomorrow.